This is the first time that I've ever been trading contracts or being a futures trader while the trading contract is switching. So the June contract expired today. All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lewis. If this is the first time that you're tuning in, I want to thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. This is the channel where I'm basically just documenting my trading journey. Thank you so much for 880 subscribers on YouTube. Like I said in my last video, it feels like I was just at 200 subscribers about a month ago, and now we're almost at a thousand. I believe that we're going to hit that thousand mark very fast. I want to thank techtronics.com for sponsoring this series if you're looking for the best quality pc build with the best quality parts in the market make sure you check out the link in the description for techtronics they have a one-year warranty and quoting is available so if you want to get very specific with the parts you want in your build you're able to contact them and michael will make sure that everything goes smoothly make sure you use my discount code rtflv for 10 percent discount at checkout if you're wondering what my broker is for my fx trades it is hero fx the link is down in the description all right let's get into this video this week was man it was filled with so much a lot of it was stuff that i had to learn through experience and the other part of it was humbling and frustrating i'll save it all for the video let's get into the charts let's not waste any time and let's just see how this week went all right so this is how the week went this is the current week that we had right now we started the week by going up and then as you can see towards the end of the week we ended up coming back down towards the weekly open which is kind of making me think we're going to start a some type of reversal but like i always say is never confirmed until we have more information so you're going to have to wait till the next week to really see what the charts are going to end up doing this is how it went in terms of the days with monday being a huge day tuesday and then we had wednesday was a bank holiday so wednesday was basically the market consolidating all day so wednesday was an off day and then we had a reversal thursday and today we started by seeing lower prices and then towards the end of the new york session you can actually see a trade that i'll talk about later on in the days once we get to friday so let's get to monday and tuesday since those were the only days that i was actually able to trade this is how the week looked on on the 15 minute chart monday having a crazy range and then thursday basically coming back down on that range and monday was very interesting because i took the trade down i didn't take the trade up which was annoying because i was going to take the trade up i just waited till we talk about what actually ended up happening so you can see here this is what i basically ended up doing moves this week were actually very delayed and that kind of caught me off guard a bit but i just keep it to what ended up happening i don't believe we had any news on monday i think maybe we had some some news i'm not too sure let me just double check right, so we did have news at 8 30 on monday but this is the actual trade that i did take this is what i was anticipating to take i didn't take this trade up here this is the one that i actually took and it almost hit my take profit but let's see what actually ended up happening look at this monstrosity i'm so upset that i missed this move and i was even i'll talk about everything that happened all right so looking at the higher time frames on monday i was expecting us to have some type of judah swing higher to then go lower for the rest of the day but as you can see this is what ended up happening we had a judah swing higher which is where i took my entry i entered on the one minute so i took it off a rebalance of this 15 minute imbalance so as you can see here that gray box is where i had my limit order and it ended up filling me in so as you can see here we had this move up so i was anticipating this move up so i was looking for higher prices in order to move lower and that's exactly what we ended up getting came into my spot and filled me into my trade i had my stop above this high and then i actually ended up setting up my fib before we moved up and we ended up coming back up into the into a premium was just perfect because i was looking for shorts and i took the short i took my profits at the sell side liquidity and then i was gonna take my final profit down here but it ended up reversing on me i don't remember if i closed out my whole position i did close it out before it ended up going up here and i also noticed this as well there's always a big down close candle that looks like this which gets immediately invalidated by the next candle whenever there's a reversal this obviously could be an smt as well and i don't remember it too much if there was an smt i'm pretty sure there was an smt with these one minute candles with es which also could have been a telling sign that we were going to end up reversing but as you can see we ended up reversing right before we got into the afternoon session which meant that q4 was going to be a reversal not a continuation as you can see we started coming back up i closed my trade once i noticed that we actually okay i have the screenshot come up i knew that we were going to end up going higher once i saw this down candle print and then immediately rebalance so i closed the position somewhere around here or around here i saw this imbalance and i placed my next trade on the imbalance and this is something that's been happening to me all week let me just explain it so i had my long right here i was waiting for the price to come back up and then i had my stop i had my stop at the medium threshold of, of the order block and my target was going to be the all-time high at the moment which was this here but i also could have just waited for the manipulation leg if there was a manipulation leg but there always is i have this i don't know if it's just intuition i 
I really don't know what it is, but I have a bad habit of doing this. So I have my limit order at a certain spot. I'll see price leave and I'm like, I don't want price to come back, but I always forget that I'm on a lower time frame. So this move up is nothing when you look at it in a higher time frame, like the 15 minute or the one hour. Price has a tendency, at least the past two weeks, to do that run away and I take off my limit order. So I'm out of the market at this point. Price comes back down, fills me in, and then reverses. And I have my limit order there. You can see basically one tick, one, two ticks before it filled me into the trade. It's just frustrating how it's been happening, but I didn't enter. I could have entered with a market order, but I don't think anybody was really expecting this type of move on a Monday. But looking at the range and seeing what it was, the actual manipulation was this move down. So consolidation, manipulation, distribution, which is a simple power of three concept. It just happened to be a bit more delayed because usually this move happens at the 930 open. So next time I just have to be a bit more patient. I did take a win this day, but I didn't catch this crazy move. And then if I would have just, if I would have seen this and taken this move, I could have targeted the four and it completely destroyed it, completely destroyed it on a Monday, which is kind of crazy. Let's just move on to the next day. So the next day coming into Tuesday, I got completely chopped. I don't know why I have this here. I don't remember if I even took this trade. I might have took this trade, but I got completely chopped on Tuesday because Tuesday's price action, as you can see, was a straight up consolidation. Just chop. It makes a lot of sense that Tuesday's price action would consolidate like this because if you pay attention, there's no way that we're going to have this big of a range on a Monday and then Tuesday be another big range like this. It just doesn't happen. The same way that you wouldn't expect a big range on the same day, for example, like a big range in the morning section and a big range in the afternoon section, you can't expect the Tuesday after a big range or the next day after a big range to be another big range especially when you know wednesday is a holiday a big holiday and nobody's gonna really be trading on wednesday so that is basically what i ended up taking i got extremely chopped up i'm just straight up chopped up on tuesday i guess you could have maybe had something around here with a short down to this sell side liquidity but it wasn't even worth anything um i thought honestly the idea that i had coming into it was we would come down and take out this sell side liquidity along with filling in this imbalance so killing two birds with one stone and then go higher for these highs up here and i did take a long i think i was up at some point but ended up coming back down and i don't know if i canceled the trade or it took me out but yeah i, I ended up losing a couple trades if, if i'm not mistaken i think it was one or two on this day so what i needed to do was realize that a the day before was a big range so today's probably just gonna consolidate or chop which would have been a lot better for me because i could have preserved my capital a lot better on this day and this is the a trade that i decided to mark out and the same thing happened that happened the day before i had this limit order in it got close to it then it took off i ended up taking off the actual limit order and then ended up coming back down and as you can see even though it straight up consolidated and the next day we were in trading it ended up going up to my target so either way i was like i said still accurate in my analysis and that leads me to the next day on thursday thursday i don't know what was going on in my mind i'm gonna put up the screenshot of my analysis a couple minutes before market open clearly thursday was gonna be a reversal and as you can see it was a pretty big reversal so for some reason on this day it was also a day where thursday was another day where the move was a bit delayed but it just made so much sense we had news on thursday as well we had been rising all week as you can see since monday with that consolidation manipulation distribution we had been lasting all week and it was also a higher time frame market maker model so as you can see here with this, a consolidation manipulation distribution i had my analysis i was gonna go short and for some reason this is what ended up happening this is the first time that i've ever been trading contracts or being a futures trader while the trading contract is switching so the june contract expired today so i thought i had until today and this was yesterday to switch over to the next contract which i should have just switched over probably tuesday or wednesday so my chart looked completely different from the actual contract that is trading now so in the morning it looked like price came down to take out sell side and started to go back up on the four hour if i'm not mistaken so as you can see here i thought we would come down into this order block and maybe go higher but doesn't it, that doesn't make sense because it's thursday we've been rising all week thursday reversal day a manipulation up was all that was really needed to get me and i got caught in the manipulation i ended a trade in the wick and i was in profit for a bit but then ended up coming back down and taking me out and i think i entered again and it took me out once again when i should have just been looking for shorts so i just decided to not trade after that i just said you know i'm just gonna take my oh i had already came up 
with my hypothesis and my analysis i was gonna take it short but i ended up switching up my bias after which doesn't make sense i really don't know why i thought we were gonna bounce off this down close candle which i thought was an order block but it's just clear that it wasn't i just got caught in the manipulation and i think the reason why was because on monday what happened on monday with the move down to take out sell side and then bouncing from an order block i believe it was a one hour order block that we bounced off on monday and then just moon so i thought maybe that was gonna happen but that doesn't make sense i don't know why i took it because it was thursday on a monday that makes sense for us to come down take our south side and bounce off an order block but on a thursday when we've been rising all week uh not really that really doesn't make sense so obviously with this intermediate term high this is a high resistance liquidity run for us to go back up so it doesn't make sense why i took that and the move that i was looking at when price came back up was actually the move that i should have been looking at to get into the trade so while i was in profit thinking that i was gonna write it out and that i was correct in my analysis and you know and that i had beat the market when i was just incorrect was what i should have been looking at for my entry i should have been expecting to move up like that because look at this fair value gap we came back up into the fair value gap to fill it in and then look at the body below the consequent encroachment that should have been my signal right there to trade we came up to that imbalance to fill it back in got in on that imbalance had my stop above this high right here what do you target the first big low if i'm not mistaken that trade alone would have credited me about a thousand i can't even check right now because this is the expired contract i should really switch it over to the next one but i'll switch it over to the next one now we even had these lows down here so for this imbalance with these lows look at this rr that in itself would have passed me the whole account and obviously i don't want to pass the whole account with one trade because that would be breaking the rules but either way that is what i ended up seeing today and that was horrible that was just horrendous or on thursday that's what i ended up seeing on thursday i got caught up in the manipulation when the manipulation up was the move that i should have been looking to enter in yeah i just have to live with it at this point but that was the trade that i should have took should have noticed the manipulation higher into the order box or to the fair value gap and as you can see over here we also have a mitigation block so extremely simple thursday reversal we've been rising all week should have been looking for shorts and i had it marked out to go short today but i didn't this one move down would have netted me two percent on the week and i would have been good with that i would have not even traded today friday if i would have hit this but it is what it is we live and we learn and i definitely journal it down but i'm now going to switch to the actual contract that is being traded at the moment and show you what ended up happening today so today i did take one mini trade and i don't remember where exactly it was i took it long somewhere around here because i saw an smt but the smt didn't end up holding so i closed out of that trade really quickly then i came down there was a higher time frame low that we ended up taking i was anticipating a purge and revert obviously my target was up here with the highs from the london session and it almost got to it but i would have closed out because that would have been around 900 to a thousand and i don't know maybe been a little bit greedy and decided to let it run up there but once i started once you start to see it chop like this you already know so i would have got out either here here somewhere around here close out the whole trade it's a friday i do it this is what ended up happening today so today was kind of my fault it was but it ended up coming back down and giving me an opportunity and i didn't take it so as he was looking on the two minute chart as you can see here very clearly we had a imbalance in the two minute my initial trade was this right here this is the limit order that has set I set this limit order i thought okay it will come down but then i went on the one minute again and i saw this imbalance and when i see an imbalance like that i always like to go for the imbalance that's above so then i moved it to this and have my stop still the same you can see the 17 r that is a crazy rr and i was probably risking like 50 dollars on the trade to make like a thousand i should have just left it doesn't make sense why i didn't leave it either way it's it's very interesting some of the stuff that i do sometimes but i moved it from there and if you see on the two minute it did come down into the two minute imbalance and then took off once it took off I was like, I don't even want it to come back down so that it could fill me in. And then for some reason, I have, like I said, that bad habit of seeing it go up like this and thinking that's a big move when it's just I'm on the one minute so it could come back down. And as long as it doesn't go below this low, because this should be a protected low. It just it was the low that took out south side liquidity. So that's a high resistance liquidity run if it does come back down there. It should at least come up here to take out buy side before going back down to take out the south side from that low. But as of right now, that's well, that was a protected low so i took off my limit order it went higher once it was up here I was like it's probably not gonna return it's probably just gonna go up there was an imbalance up higher and that high so honestly i thought it would just run after that and i missed my opportunity but then again it came down and i took it like i said i had taken off my limit order it came down would have filled me in on this trade and then just took off 
but what can I say? If we run it back, we came down, took out Southside, started disrespecting Southside imbalances, and and I believe there was also an SMT that ended up holding. And then there was also another SMT right here with EX taking out this low and an MQ holding and not taking out that low. So you can see the buy side imbalance ended up holding. I ended up holding perfectly and it took off. But I had already moved my limit order and I would have got out somewhere around here, honestly. Yeah, that is the trade that I missed today because I moved my limit order. What can I say? I did win like $50 on that first trade, but I noticed it was going to start coming back down around here and it started coming down. I said, no. Nah. I was thinking if it's going to reverse from here and not go straight up for this high, that the draw on liquidity initially would be the sell side liquidity below these lows and the higher time frame low. I did what I did. And I could have just, like I said, just entered on the two minute that that's a couple ticks that wasn't going to do too much more, honestly. So it, it would have tripped me in and I would have got some profit out of this trade for sure because we had buy side right here, which I could have took profit at and then the initial high there. I don't know. I, it, it happens way too much. It happened last week a lot too and it happened like three times this week. So I just have to leave it there and maybe just take off my limit order once the session is over just in case. Obviously, it comes with being patient, but I guess that's something that I have to work on. And then on top of that, just this is the last time that I let the contracts do that because I am not trading with MQ1 with the exclamation mark, which automatically updates the contract whenever the contract expires. So I think reacting off of this, depending on how next week opens, we have this imbalance, which we could come up above and then move lower to the sell side. But we'll just have to see how it goes on Monday. Now I'm going to show you the top step account. I'm actually disappointed on what I did with my capital. I could have preserved my capital a lot better on Tuesday. And then Thursday was just a mess with the whole contract stuff going on. Tuesday, for sure, I could have protected my capital a lot more. All right, so this is the account on top step. The high I had was almost 2%. I was basically off a couple days, 2%. But then, as you can see here, $50 today, $45. Ended up losing a lot on Tuesday with minus 561. And then 5.13 on Thursday with the whole mess with, with the actual contracts. But this is the stats. Should have just done better. That's really it. That's all I had to say for this week. Next week, I promise to be a lot better, a lot more concentrated, a lot more sharp. You just end up seeing how the week goes, really. Apart from that, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm telling you to use that discount. Make sure you take advantage of it on techtronics.com if you're looking to build your dream PC. If you want to know what my broker is for my FX trades, it is down in the description as well. Next week, I just have to come a lot better. Really, that's really the best way that I could really put it. But apart from that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you tune into the next one. And thank you so much for the amount of support that we've been getting on the channel. It was definitely a good week. We're at 880. We'll be at 1,000 in no time. But I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.